Hello traders, in today's video we're going to be talking about a new feature of CoinMarketCap um, th that I found quite cool. CoinMarketCap started to actually use all these really cool signals by Into the Block, which is a website I've covered before. They do this for a ton of cryptocurrencies. So I found this to be really one of the easier ways for a lot of you guys, my uh, viewers, to get all this data for free for really whatever coin you want. So I think that's invaluable and let's dive in. All right, traders, so let's break down these indicators I was talking about. So there are five main indicators that CoinMarketCap uses. Uh, of course, these are all from Into the Block. Transaction demographics and transactions greater than 100K. So this is the transactions that occur typically during Western and Eastern trading times. This one is the one uh, number of transactions with a value over 100K. So if you see this rising a lot, I, I would think that that would assume high volatility is probably going to be occurring soon because of a ton of transactions of 100K and over are happening. That could give us some idea of volatility. Holders composition by time. I think that that shows how much confidence there is in a token. Uh, that's one way I think you could interpret it. Because if, if this is something where like 80% are just holding something for under a month, that doesn't really that doesn't really convey a lot of confidence in that coin, does it? Um, that shows that people are just trying to trade it for speculative purposes in the short term. But you can see Bitcoin here, most people are holding this a lot longer. But it also could be used to see who's bag holding, you know, who's, who's just holding a coin at a loss, just hoping to sell and has held for like five years or something, you know. Um, concentration by large holders and holders making money at current price. These are the only two I use. Just these two and these signals that I'm gonna show you guys soon. So these two, concentration by large holders tells me of all the addresses that hold this token or this cryptocurrency, how many of them are top, top, you know, 1% addresses, as you can see here, of circulating supply. So Bitcoin, the majority of Bitcoin is not held by the top addresses as conveyed here. It looks like about 90% of it is held by uh, smaller addresses, of course. But this doesn't reveal the distribution, so, you know, that, uh, that's something you'd have to look more into. And then the one that probably I'm gonna be talking about the most in this video, holders making money at current price. So a few things that you can do on this, I would say that if the out of the money gets very, very large, I actually see that as pretty bearish because that means that if a lot of traders are holding a coin that's deep out of the money, that means that there are a lot of trapped traders on that coin. And if that coin ever rises, it's likely that a lot of them are gonna to wanna to sell at break even or at slight profit, which will likely make it harder for price to rise in the future. Now, if a lot of people are in the money, this is where things get interesting. Typically, you're gonna see something like 100% uh, or 90% of traders in the money when the coin is doing this, when the coin is basically in a bubble. So in a bubble formation, what you see is that the coin makes all time high, all time high, all time high. And then the in the money shows you, oh my God, 100% of traders are in the money. And then, it falls and then you see like only 50% are in the money or something really drastic. Uh, that's one way that I would interpret it. So I think that that's actually a really good way to interpret what's a bubble and what's not. But the hardest thing isn't determining if something's a bubble. The hardest thing is determining when will the bubble pop. You know, I'm not saying that any specific coin is a bubble. It's, it's just that shorting, um, shorting an asset that's skyrocketing is kind of a recipe for disaster most of the time. You know, that's where I think options would probably be better instead of just trying to short on futures if something's like, whoa. Okay, so let's go look at the actionable signals. I really like what they do here because this is just much simpler. It's just basically telling you, is this more bearish or bullish based on um, into the blocks, uh, blockchain analysis and, tr and track transaction analysis and on chain, basically. So we can see that mostly they're saying that this is more bearish on Bitcoin, that there's a probably greater probability that Bitcoin's going to fall rather than rise. And they do give reasons why. So in the money, you can see change in the money addresses is, is one reason why this is leaning toward bearish. Large transactions is down, which to them is more bearish. Concentration looks, yeah. I, I haven't looked into these indicators a lot. Net, net network of, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's interesting. That's, that's showing how much, um, how many people are adopting an asset, I think. So I haven't looked a lot into these, but I do think that these signals um, are moderately good. 
Another thing that I've seen is if you click see more signals, there's actually a part of in the block, um, not on CoinMarketCap, but in the block where they do predictions, where they predict what's going to happen every single hour on Bitcoin and Ethereum and like two other coins. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, the predictions are so-so, but it's actually pretty cool. And if you want to go uh, look, take a look at that, go to uh, their page and you're going to go see their predictions. All right. I want to talk about another coin that I find just fascinating, Uniswap. Look at this on-chain analysis that you're about to see. What? 1% are actually in the money and 75% are at the money, 24% are out of the money. This is just mind-boggling for me to even look at. So this means that really almost everyone has bought around the prices of where we're at now, You know, as, as you can see, uh, which could be very scary because that means, guys, that if price on Uniswap really falls, it could trap a lot of traders at higher prices. So, and, and also what I see here is concentration by large holders. It looks like very few people own basically all of Uniswap. So to me, this is a little scary. If I was long Uniswap, this is a bit scary. And it also looks like holders, well, that's because it's a new coin. I can't really fault them for that, so ignore that. Um, but yeah, I think that this is really, really telling that only 1% of traders are deep in the money and everyone else just kind of bought around the current price. This could be a sign of potential bearishness in my opinion. But we can see that uh, actual signals is pointing toward bullish. But this is why I like on the chain analysis more than technical analysis. And you can even get it for free here at CoinMarketCap. I mean, this is, I think, a lot more helpful than people give it credit for. A lot more helpful. Because this right here is telling me how many traders using spot are profitable on these tokens. And the answer is it's muddy. It's unclear because actually a lot of people are still just at the money, you know. Now, let's go to another one. Another one that I wanted to prep up. This is uh, Urine Finance, YFI, another one of those kind of funding Uniswap kind of things. <laughs> kind of things, someone's gonna make fun of me for that. Um, same kind of setup here. Concentration by large holders is quite high. Uh, we can, but we, we do see that there are a lot more traders in the money uh, here. Holders composition by time held. Yeah, a similar story. So if you were to ask me, well, how would you interpret this metric right here uh, on Uniswap versus year in finance? This to me is more bullish. Um, this to me is not bullish. This to me is indicating that there could be potential for a price drop that would trap every single trader above, making it harder for price to go higher in the future. This is indicating to me that we're a little bit more evenly distributed with winners and losers. Um, and we do have a lot of traders out of the money, which could cause potential resistance because they want to sell, which could be you know, a fair amount of supply at higher prices. But I still think that YFI, this just looks a little bit more bullish to me than uh, Uni Uniswap. Of course, I could be wrong, but this is just based on you know, what we're looking at here. This is really interesting too. In the money, oh my gosh, look at that drastic drop in, in, in the in the money. So this is indicating to me that I think that uh, a lot less traders are, are recently in the money. Let's go look at that. So charts, it looks like 36% less are now in the money. So if I go to a seven day chart, there's probably a fall. Yeah, so I can, I can see right there. So this could indicate, so this is the seven day chart and you can just basically see that, you know, why if I kept falling, but it looks here, yeah. It looks here that there are probably a lot more traders trapped at these higher prices right here. And I'm not just saying that because of classic downtrend. I'm saying that from backed up data from on-chain analysis, that there's a lot of traders out of the money. So my, my previous statement that I had made, hmm, looks like support here and now we're here. Uh, it's priced in, in USD and in Bitcoin, USD in green and Bitcoin in yellow. So this, this is tough to say, I, I would say, Here's my answer on Wi-Fi. I, I think that there are a fair amount of trap traders above, which means that it's gonna be harder for price to just moon immediately. But what we could see is more consolidation or low volatility or a weak move upward as those traders begin to take break even and then potentially a price move higher. Uh, but I think that in the short term, this is bearish, but in the longer term, this to me seems bullish. That's, that's what I'd say about that. Uniswap with almost everyone who had just recently hopped on and barely anyone in the money, this to me is far more bearish than YFI. Uh, I know there's not a lot of data on this guy, not a lot of data that I can really look from. This kind of looks like a pretty bad mess of a data anyway, but to be honest with you, just basically the price going down. I Yeah, I would want to see a lot more data on Uniswap, but already this just, I don't know. 
it, it seems a little bit bearish um, bearish to me. But yeah, so that is going to do it. I, I didn't want this video to be too long on introducing the on-chain analysis from CoinMarketCap. I've covered into the block before. I really like their website. And if you want um, currently what's now completely free with live analysis that they kind of spoon feed you here and then also just tell you here for any token you, you want, then this is, the, this is the tool for you. You can find how many other traders are bag holding something. You can look at the bag holding with a combination of this and this to see how long traders have been holding it. You can see, hey, who dominates most of the supply? Is it at like Bitcoin levels or is it more like it's just like a few people that have everything, like on Uniswap, like seriously. So that means that a lot of the price movements are gonna be dictated by those large holders, of course, whereas Bitcoin's gonna be a little bit different. So I would recommend using this tool. Um, I think that it's a lot simpler than the previous uh, blockchain analysis and on-chain analysis that I've covered in the past. And I hope you can make some good use of it with some tokens that you find. Happy trading, I'll see you the next.